What are the different elements of model driven design? Hello friends, my name is Vikas Kearney. I have more than 20 years of experience in IT industry. I am TOGAP certified architect. Do subscribe to my channel for your regular updates. Model driven design is not compatible or friendly with smart UI. When we talk about smart UI, we are talking about everything in the front end. You're, we are writing the our data logic, business logic, everything in, in the front end. There's no domain layer, there's no layered architecture. That is the fastest way of do, doing the work, but we have found over the time the, these, those kind of applications, they are not easy to maintain. They are very prone to errors. So good way of doing model driven design is isolate with layered architecture. When we talk about layered architecture, have the web, web, in, web layer, business layer, data layer. So that the, our domain logic is pure. It's not uh, is not corrupted with UI concerns or data access concerns. So in our, our model has entities. When we talk about entities, entities are elements which, which has a attribute which define the entity. For example, each car. Each car has a plate number and we can track an individual car by its license number it may have internal vehicle number also so in case of like healthcare when you go to hospital it is called an encounter so each encounter has a id we need to track this uh, visit when he when the patient went to the hospital how what kind of diagnosis and procedures but uh, what kind of diagnosis were found and what procedures were performed so there are value objects like uh, there are some objects like uh, which we don't care like data connection pool data connection pool we just use the data connection to save our transactions to the database we don't care which uh, object from the pool or uh, did the service the idea behind connection pool is connection pools are difficult to maintain they take time to create if we maintain a pool of connections, the performance will be faster. So these are very good example of value objects. We just use connection to perform our SQL transaction and dispose the connection. Next time we get the another another connection, we don't. Uh, I say dispose. We don't dispose. We just uh, send it back to the pool, kind of. Factories. So, fact, like example is like uh, factories is a car. Car is produced by the factories. Before we go to factories, let's think what are the aggregates are. Again, the car is, car is example of factory, uh, sorry, aggregates. Car has tires, cars have a driving wheel, car has engine. So car, we can think of a big entity which has a lot of small components. There could be entity or value objects. So factories are is a way of encapsulating producing aggregate. We may get factory car from the factory. Factory makes sure it attaches the engine, it attaches tires, it attaches seats. As a end user, we just get a car. So factories are a good way of producing the aggregate. In healthcare, we can take example of encounter. So as I just said, like when you go to the hospital, it is called encounter. Encounter, you have end date, start date, there are diagnosis form, there are procedures performed, and there are physicians who diagnose, there are physicians who perform the procedures. So all this information encounter can be produced using the factory. Services. When you, you go to a car center, it gives you the services. So that, that's the advantage of services. Services can be used by factories to service their internal cars or customer cars. 
in case in case suppose uh, in healthcare if we are producing some we are getting some data and we are producing some risk values so this can be exposed as service service if we expose it as service it can be used not only by our internal application, it can be used our clients, other hospitals too. And there's a finally repositories, all objects, they need to store their state somewhere temp permanent kind of encounter need to be saved somewhere. So that is called repository or the database. Hello friends, my name is Vikas Kearney. I have more than 20 years of experience in IT industry. I am TOGAP certified architect. Do subscribe to my channel for your regular updates.